everyone it's the stream of simone here and today is gonna be a self-care day for me i started off my self-care day doing a nice intense workout i switched up my workout a little bit i did the treadmill on a 15 incline instead of the 12 on a three speed and then i tried out the stairmaster for 10 minutes which whooped my tail okay so i really need to get in the shower now and i need to get my skincare so i'm gonna be doing a couple of things today i'm just grabbing my skincare from under here sharing some coco kind skincare products with you guys today they were so kind enough to send it over to me the video is not sponsored by them but i've been using some of their products and then there's some new ones that i want to test out all right so before i get in the shower i'm gonna do some pre-shower body care um, especially after my workout just to help with uh, muscle soreness i'm gonna be dry brushing a little bit and then i'm also going to be doing like a cellulite massage after dry brushing i'm just gonna be using an elemis um dry brush that they sent me you could get a brush anywhere i'll link it below so i like to really focus on my legs um especially the parts where i have a lot of like cellulite and like crimples and stuff literally your skin is just dry and you're gonna go upwards towards your heart and dry brushing has a lot of benefits for the body um and i'll just put some of the benefits up on the screen if you haven't dried brushed before it is something that can get some getting used to so i'm just focusing on the areas that basically needs it and it is best to like dry brush before your shower and maybe like, I, I do it like once a week. I don't want to overdo it, but it can just help with um, circulation. So many great benefits. So now I'm going to be moving on to my Cellule Blaster. It is by Lure Essentials. You can purchase it on Amazon. I'll link it below. And it's just this little tool right here that you're gonna massage your body with. I just pair it with their cellulite oil here. You can use coconut oil or any other like natural oil that you prefer. And the more oil you add is the better. It is massage oil. So basically it's gonna help to make the look of cellulite better. Just roll away muscle soreness. It's great for like pre-workout, um, especially me. My muscles have been sore since going on this health journey. I'll take the tool and just massage it. It works well when you pair it with dry brushing too. You get better results. And see, I got cellulite here. I'm not ashamed of my cellulite at all, but I'm getting older now, so I just wanna like do things to help, you know, prevent and you know, look better. You could have someone do it to you that could work too, but this is definitely a do it yourself right at home. And you could do it at least three to four times per week. And you can also do it in the shower on wet skin to make it just roll. So I am going to jump into a little bit of 
um, pre-skincare, or should I say, like pampering myself. But let me just quickly show you the products that I got from Coco Kine. Resurrection Polypeptide Cream, the moisturizer. When I tell you guys, I love this product so much. It literally has become my holy grail. Well, one of my holy grails. So this is not gonna be like my current skincare routine. It's gonna be like a mixture of me just trying out new products and letting you know how I feel about just these particular products. This has made it to my skincare regimen and I've been using it for about two months plus and I love it so much so I'm so happy that they read up your girl and gave me some more it looks like this it's blue but it doesn't apply blue it has a very subtle smell very 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 subtle and it has great ingredients I promise you it makes my skin feel so nice you're gonna see when I put it on after my shower but I love that product I'll link all the products below I'm gonna be trying out the clay mask today which I'm gonna put on now it reduces the appearance of pores and purity in the skin without drying it out. I have large pores around here. It's a restorative mask for smooth and clear skin. I have been neglecting my skin actually <laughs> because I've been moving and everything if you've been following me so you know that. Daily SPF right here. We need that. I have um, a couple of SPF products but I love to try different ones. This one is SPF 32 and it is lightweight and it has plant extracts in them so I'm going to be putting this on tomorrow. I've already used this one. It's an SPF for your lips like I have not used an SPF for my lips in know how long, but it's a tinted one right here. And when I tell you it's nice, it has like a very lightweight, let me just show you right now because I'm not going to look, put it on. It's tinted, um, but it's not like heavily tinted. It just makes you look rosy a little and it protects your skin. 24 SPF on your lips. You don't want your lips to get black by the sun. Summertime is right around the corner. It's very hydrating and has star fruit in it. I love it. I've been using it every day now and you see very subtle and nice. Love that. That's going to be a part of my skincare now. This turmeric tonic. Um, It's a spot treatment to brighten up like little dark spots. I'm going to try that out today as well. Looks like that. And then lastly, I have the Ceramide Barrier Serum um, right here, which I'm going to be also using today. But right now, I'm just going to put on the mask. Uh, apply a generous layer to the clean, dry skin, avoiding the eyes and lips. Leave on for 20 minutes before gently massaging off with cold water. I could smell uh, the kale just a little. Don't paint my nails on my, I gotta get my nails done y'all. Right there. This is how it looks. I got a little in my mouth. Dry so off, it feels really nice on my skin. I like that the sea kale is subtle, very, very subtle. There's no like smells annoying me or bothering my sinuses. There's little, little tiny beads in it. I wanted to shave my brows, which I am. I was supposed to do it before I put on the mask, but I got a little like excited <laughs> and I just threw it on. But yeah, so I'm just gonna wait for this to harden and up. So it has hardened a little, but I'm still able to talk. So it's not like intensely hard, which I like. Since it's getting closer to me about to like wash it off, I want to use this time to go ahead and take care of my underarms. I'm sorry, I'm talking robotic. <laughs> Instead of shaving, I'm going to be using the Magic Razorless Shave Cream. It went a little viral maybe a year ago and I actually never used it. So opposed to using Nair or Veet, this is supposedly supposed to be better. So I'm going to test it out today. My underarms I shared in my last self-care shower routine. The hair grew back, but they were a lot darker before. And I did mention before that I was having some issues with figuring out why did they get so dark. For one, I know my underarms the arms are dark due to like some hormonal issues. A lot lighter despite the little bit of hair that's here now. Figured out the culprit <laughs> was something that I was using on it that was causing it to get dark. You want to stay towards the post shower and I'll share with you my new underarm routine that's lightening up of my underarms and like when we get to that portion I'll share more deets but it wasn't the razor that caused it to get black. And you're supposed to leave it on for four minutes. It does smell like Nair. <laughs> But I guess this is for men, um, like when they're getting their hair, their beards 
shaved or their ball head or I, I i don't know but it's for men but we're using it the smell is not as overpowering as nair which i like because it usually would smell like rotten egg in here right now but it doesn't leave it on for four minutes and then wipe it clean it recommends on the bottle to test the spot and if it doesn't wipe off clean then leave it on for like an additional few minutes but don't exceed seven minutes or you can experience irritation. So yeah, this is how we're looking. And I'm gonna wash my hands real good because I didn't use gloves and I'm gonna be touching my face and I don't want the little bit of eyebrows that I had to fall off. <laughs> I wanna say that my legs feel so good after that cellulite massage and I feel so relaxed as if I went and got the treatment done. <laughs> I came in the kitchen for a snack. I'm getting a little hungry, I'm not gonna lie. All of this working out has been making me very hungry. Kitchen is a mess right now because I have been reorganizing things. I think I'm gonna go ahead and have a rice cake from Aldi's, the Fit Active. Oh. Matter of fact, I don't want this. I just remembered I found some rice cakes that actually taste better by Quaker and they're gluten free. No preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, no added colors. They had caramel and chocolate and the chocolate tastes a little marshmallowy to me and they're little bite size. Seven grams of sugar, about 16 pieces. Can't go wrong with that. Nice low carb. Ow. It is time to remove everything, but I'm gonna remove this first because it's tingling and you can see the hair actually removed itself. It's wiping clean. It is wiping like lint. <laughs> I don't think I was expecting that. Ugh. I wasn't expecting it to wipe like that. It's really pulling from the root too, because it's all stringy. wiping down. It was very tingly. They look like little worms. <laughs> this is so strange, but it's removing. It's just very tingly. Why? Tingling to the point where I need, I want to wash it off type of tingle. has little exfoliating beads in it when it's coming off. It feels so good. Let's get into the skin. Looking real nice after that mask. My skin feels nice and the little beads lightly exfoliated it. Like it really feels good. So now I'm just gonna be taking my um, little razor here and just like lightly taking the hairs out. My brows are still kind of sparse due to my chronic illness, but I'm just gonna add a little shape to it. I'm just losing the little arch when doing my eyebrows, when I'm filling them in. So I just wanna kind of carve that out real quick. And I've shared this in a video before, like more detailed but it's best to do it with like a, a new razor that's very sharp. So you don't cut yourself with a dull one. All right, so I'm all done with my brows. You can't really tell anything right now because I need to go in the shower. I don't really get my brows done or threaded because I don't have much and when I go, they be messing up my brows sometimes. So I really want to find like a good place before I let someone else touch my brows. So I'll just do it myself. I just want that brow bone to kind of be exposed to make it easier when doing my brows myself. So now I'm going to get into the shower get my body all clean so first let me put on my shower cap for my braids i shared it on tiktok if you're not following me on tiktok you should at a stream of dot simone a stream of simone i'll link it below as well just gonna put on a head tie for the front part of my head and then this is the braid shower cap that i got here with the velcro in the front there's a drawstring to pull it in, put my hair inside of it. 
This is gonna protect my braids from getting wet. See, it comes all the way down. Flip it, flip it over. Put it on the Velcro on both sides. Squeeze the air out. And you could use the drawstring to tighten it. My shower cap. So I need my shower nice and hot before I get in it. And I gotta rinse off the rest of the shave cream since it was tingling. And I'm gonna go in with this new bar soap that I got from Target and it's by Raw Sugar. And it actually smells really good and it feels nice. I like the texture of the little Lego puzzle piece on the back and it has like a lemongrass smell and it's supposed to be like really good ingredients, great for your body. So it lathers up really well, which I love. And yeah, I'm just gonna thoroughly cleanse my body. I'm gonna double cleanse in this shower routine. I double cleanse almost every day, but um, yeah, especially after shaving, I'm gonna double cleanse and make sure I get in there to get any excess hairs off or all of the smells. So I'm gonna jump in with the Tree Hut Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. It is a tropic glow and it's supposed to be firming for your skin, which it really left my skin feeling amazing. Normally I do use the exfoliating gloves, but I noticed that with um, this scrub and the gloves, it exfoliates my skin till it feels raw and it's just too strong. So I just use my bare hands and it's not too bad. It smells excellent and I really like this scent in the scrub and I'm definitely going to be tackling my entire body, especially focusing on the cellulite to help with firming the skin on my legs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that off thoroughly as well. Jumping in with my Shea Moisture Replenishing Body Wash. I love this body wash. It's so good. It smells so good. It lathers up very well. It's very hydrating to my body. So I love to use this. And I'm just going to be using one of the little loofahs um, to just scrub my whole body with it. And then I'm just going to move on to some feminine wash. And this is my go-to feminine wash by Vagisil. pH balance. I really love this stuff. And yeah, and that's about it. All right, I'm all out the shower now. And as you can see, my hair is dry, dry from that braid shower cap. I did forget to show the Coco Kine Milk oil to milk cleanser. So I'm going to use that to wash my face. I'm just going to make my hands wet and then add some to my hands. And basically it's going to be oily and then it's going to turn milky. I've used it and I actually like it. It's also good um, for when you want to double cleanse and remove makeup. It has great ingredients. It almost smells like something baby, but not overpowering, you know? It has oat in it to help better defend the skin from external stressors. You see that? Feels so good on my skin. I like to just massage it in. Coco Kai has really great products, you guys. Not sponsored, just a really great skincare line. They also have some products for like your body as well. How it turns to milk on the face as you wash it off. And then I just take paper towel, dry cloth, and dap my face dry. I don't drag and I don't be rough. Get into the skin. So now I am going to be putting on the serum. Coco Kine Serum Gently Massage. Pat two to three drops onto clean skin. Use AM or PM. Cheers. Ooh, this smells really subtle and nice. I love the smell. Feels really, really good on my skin. My eyebrows are burning a little. <laughs> Mm. Coco Kine, oh my goodness, love it. I'm gonna go ahead and just put on some eye cream that is not from Coco Kine, which will be in my actual skincare regimen. Coco Kine does have eye cream. I have yet to try it, but that is on the list. And then, all right, I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer which is my fave. Do you see it's almost done? I'm so happy I got a new bottle from them. Good stuff. 
so moisturizing and mild this is for you i love this moisturizer it always makes my skin feel so great you guys and try out the spot treatment it says roll on to blemishes and dark spots allowed to dry before applying other products oh it's a roll on i did it i have i think that's a mold but i'm gonna just put it there and then there's this one spot that's getting on my nerve so i hope it works on that the scar it smells the turmeric in it turmeric is great for your skin and then also i'm going to sleep i'm gonna put on the um spf tinted lip shield so bomb and here's your girl's skin after using coco kai Thank you, Coco Guy. Thank you so much for sending me these products. Everything will be listed below, you guys. I highly recommend. Now to the armpitties. As you could see, that thing worked so well, the shave gel thing. Uh, my armpits are feeling a little raw. I don't know why. But probably because the hair just removed. Some cotton rounds. Here, I just get like the really big pack from Costco's, so worth it. Here is the secret ingredient that I use for <laughs> under my arms to help clear it up. And I've been using it for a while. The Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. It is a toner, but I'm sure you've probably seen it all over TikTok, here on YouTube, Instagram, wherever. And I'm just gonna add some to the cotton round here. Right? And then you just, you could use it on your face as well. I've used the toner on my face. And then I just rub it here on my underarms. Ooh, right now it burns. So basically I just rub it on my underarms, right? Clear it up under there. Under my arms do not smell anymore. I stopped using deodorant with aluminum in it. And I've been using this product and it's made under my arms like stop smelling, especially your arms detox after not using aluminum. So let me tell you where I went wrong. <laughs> I would use it like in the night and then I would put on deodorant. Don't use deodorant with it. Use the deodorant like the next day. So you don't really need the deodorant for bed anyways, but I love when under my arms are smelling real good. So I made a mistake and I used this under my arms and then after it dried, I used deodorant and I even used the aluminum free deodorant and it still kind of burned under my arms. This basically works the best by itself. Don't overdo it. I recommend once at night or you could just start off slow once a week and eventually the smell is gonna disappear. That glycolic acid basically helps it. So I've been getting my armpits back to normal. I'm not gonna use it tonight because I just tested it um, after using that shave cream. It probably was irritated in some way. So I don't wanna burn under there. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to use it. I don't have any smell under here right now because this has been working. Deodorant that I use, the Loom right here, which is the whole body deodorant. So I could use it like wherever, my booty crack, under my tatas, anywhere. And it's really good. I like the peony rose and the um, toasted coconut smells really good and it goes on invisible aluminum free smells really good you could use it wherever so that is my underarm routine and how i've been clearing it up and i feel like the shave cream is really gonna help it so now i'm gonna go on to oil pulling which is something that i like to do like once a week and i'm just gonna be using some coconut oil it messed up right here by oilyology you could use any like natural organic I would say organic, fragrance-free coconut oil. I locked myself out of there. This coconut oil is separate from like coconut oil I would use to cook or coconut oil I would use on my hair. I'm gonna take a teaspoon of the coconut oil right here. What I'm gonna do is put it in my mouth and I'm telling y'all now because once it's in there, I'm not talking, right? So I'm gonna put it in my mouth and I'm gonna swish it around for about five minutes. And you could do it up to like 20 minutes. It's really hard to keep it in there. <laughs> it's not easy, but I'm like used to it. So you just swish it around, not swallow it. Because like it's going to pull out all the toxins out of your body. It has so many great benefits. It's great for tonsil stones. It's great for bad breath, um, cavities and crevices and holes in your mouth. I have teeth issues and stuff. So 
Um, oil pulling is a very awesome. Coconut oil is great. It's a magnificent oil for this. And I'm about to put it in my mountain shit up so <laughs> we could get this done. And then you could just read a book, watch some TikTok or something while you're swishing it around. And then you're gonna spit it into the garbage. Do not spit it into the toilet or the sink because um the oil could kind of mess up the drain and like harden and oil and water don't mix. So spit it into the garbage or spit it into a tissue and then throw it in the garbage. But don't spit it down the drain or in the toilet, okay? I'm not even gonna show y'all this. Mm. Five minutes up, like it, it, it's always hard. Just, you don't have to put as much as I did, but the more solid the coconut is, it's the harder it is to wash around your mouth. But if it's more like a liquid form, it'll be easier. So next, I'm gonna be following up with clove oil. Not really oil pulling, but more so a way to naturally medicate your mouth. Um, it can help with any sort of inflammation. My mom gave me this little tube um, just to store it. Take some clove, put some boiling hot water, and let it seep like tea. And then when it forms the tea, you strain it off. You got it. Well, I'm gonna put some in my mouth and swish it around. It's been helping me so much with this, uh, like a hole formed in one of my tooth and like, I believe the nerve is exposed. I have to go to the dentist and it's been miracles. Like it's been helping me. I've, I've been feeling literally no pain. The pain was like a 12 out of 10 before. So my mom saved the day giving me this clove. So I highly recommend it for just any oral issues. Clove oil is, I pair the two now and it works wonders. It gets up in there the way it needs to, I'm telling you. Here is my comfy nighty clothes. This two piece and my pink undies. And I'm also gonna be using this nighttime fragrance, Mermaid Vibe by Ocean Pacific. It smells so good, just subtle. Get me all matchy. Here is the lotion that I love to use. I put it in my Amazon self-care favorites video. It really makes my skin feel nice. Gonna use some Gold Bond powder with cornstarch. Great for babies, but I put it on my underarms, especially like after shaving it or removing the hair. Just cools it down, you know. Especially right now, it's just a little irritated. Put on my fragrance. It's a nice little subtle nighttime smell to me. I'm gonna take some melatonin. I found this one on Amazon. It's so good. I got my daughter the kids one by the same brand, Natural. Natural, I think. And it looks like this little gummy here. Out like a light. It makes me fall asleep faster. It's recommended to take it 20 to 30 minutes before you anticipate going to bed. The kids one works on my daughter so well. I've tried many different Tonys. She calls it Tony, <laughs> melatonin. And some of them are like hit and miss. This one's really good and it's natural. It's literally one gram of sugar. It's five milligrams of melatonin for the adults and it doesn't irritate me. There was another one that I was taking and it was like irritating my thyroid. I stopped using that and this one doesn't bother me. It makes me sleep so well. And not like going to the world or anything like that, <laughs> but like relaxed. So I am gonna go tie up my hair. I know I'm looking cray cray and thank Thank you so much for watching thumbs up the video subscribe join the family i hope you stay get some self-care in i'm doing it while my daughter is sleeping i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye